Hi there, how's it going? My name's Kevin, my dad, two kids, founder of Good Go Chat, and I'm here to talk to you today about interviews, about interview preparation for the 11 plus and other private school interviews that you may be preparing your child for. <sighs> the dreaded interview, right? It can be a bit nerve wracking, but fear not, I've got some very practical suggestions and tips for you today. Just before I get into that, let me tell you a little bit about myself, which is that I spent 15 years in the corporate world sort of rising through the ranks as it were, through strategy roles, sales, marketing, pricing roles. Um, most recently, I led the UK division of the 5100 company. Um, and, and basically, I, I did a lot of interviews <laughs> um, as an interviewee, as an interviewer. And so I think I picked up a few things along the way. And one thing that struck me just in comparing adult interviews to kid interviews is that actually there's a lot of similarity. You know, interview skills are a good life skill in themselves to build in our children. Just think for a moment about some of those introduction or warm-up questions you might be asked as an adult. So as an adult, um, why do you want to work for this company? As a child, why do you want to go to this school? Or as an adult, where do you see yourself in five years? As a child, what do you want to be when you grow up? As an adult, what's going on in our market or our industry at the moment? As a child, what's going on in the news at the moment? You know, so and there's already so much overlap. And preparing our kids well for interviews at this age, which actually bear them really well for their future, for the masses of interviews that they're going to have, right? So, as I said, I, I left the corporate world to start up this company called Kidco Chat, which is all about empowering parents to develop soft skills in their kids. The idea is we tee up daily conversations which build certain skills, like what you can see behind me, and that sort of builds character in our children. And as I was developing this app, so many parents came to me and said, Coven, this would be brilliant for 11 plus interview preparation. Um, and it was very unsolicited, I must say. And, and so many of them did, I thought, okay, there must be something here. So, um, so I got in touch with Saba at 11 plus journey and he asked me to do this video. And I wrote some stuff on a blog and I actually got a Facebook group on this interview topic, which I'll tell you about a bit of that later. And I'm doing more and more work around interview preparation um, in conjunction with, with this app. So the other thing I've been doing is speaking to a bunch of experts, right, who are kind of very much in this space. And, and one person I do want to call out, and I'm sure she won't mind, is um, a doctor, Afroza Ahmed, who wrote this book, Parents' Guide to Preparing for Independent School Interviews. And I just want to read out one bit of this book, which I think makes a very good point, something that's close to my heart, which is um, that schools are looking for children who are able. Able. Yeah, able in different ways. So who are personable, <laughs> who are teachable, challengeable, consciousable, knowledgeable, supportable, comfortable. You know, I think that's really well put and an important point, because for me it's all about building character, right? It's about building children who have genuine underlying character, the kinds of things that Dr. Afroza Ahmed talks about in that book, the kinds of skills that you see behind you here around feelings and resilience, communication and philosophy and productivity and a general attitude on life. It's about building genuine character. And here's the thing, the, the interview is just this 30 minute little window in which that true character is allowed to surface. And that's all it is. You know, for me, the interview is not a test to pass or a situation to try and gain or, or a hoop to jump through. It's, it's none of that. For me, the interview is, is about, in a sustainable way, building true character in a person, in this case, our children, to make them brilliant individuals with big hearts and creative brains and clear voices, such that in that 30 minute kind of little window where they have a chance to speak about themselves a little bit more, uh, it surfaces naturally. Right? So it's not about faking it for the moment just to try and pass and have it all dissolve away afterwards. It's about building it there truly underneath, but then crucially giving them the tools to allow it to surface, right? Because when you get asked a question, when your child gets asked a question like, um, tell me a time you overcame a challenge, they're not going to have that at recall, right? They're not going to have that in the tips of their fingers. So, so there maybe we can prepare children a little bit in terms of, look, make sure you're thinking about that, that tennis match that you're struggling in. Um, or that time that you, you did that this, this sort of leadership activity with a group of friends and, and you couldn't decide what to do. Or just you know, have those situations at your fingertips by all means, but, um, but they've got to be genuine. They have to have happened in the first place. 
right? They have to genuinely have that character trait of, in this case, overcoming challenge, um, which is more about building resilience, isn't it? So that's my, uh, my very strong uh, philosophy on, on interviews, right? Build a character and then just let it shine through for, for that interview. Now, having said all of this, you know, there are certain questions that we could ask our children on a daily basis to get their minds in the, the way of how interviews work, right? Because the questions I'll get asked, some of them are probably quite left field, probably quite all over the place. And so let me just give you a few examples. And <clears throat> for this, I'm going to reach for my phone, if you don't mind, because I have this Facebook group where I post every other day uh, a classic sort of 11 plus interview question, one, you know, one that you would never think of asking. Right. Um, so, for example, we've had recently, uh, can you estimate how many schools there are in the UK? Estimate how many schools there are in the UK. And these sorts of quantification questions, sort of estimation questions, uh, I actually I've asked them a lot in my consulting interviews, which is my first job when I was about 20 years old, did lots and lots of consulting interviews, got asked all sorts of quantification questions. And, and you quickly learn that there's, there's a system to them, right? There's a certain structure you can apply. For this one, can you estimate how many schools there are in the UK? You might you know, think quite top level around, well, how many school children are there? And how many school uh, kids per school and kind of go from there. So, for example, if there are 10 million school children and 10,000 schools, then there's probably, um, well, uh, sorry, 10, if there are 10 million school children and 1,000 kids per school, then it would be about 10,000 schools in the UK to answer the question. Um, but the answer doesn't matter, right, for these kinds of questions, actually. It's more about the process of thinking and articulating the thinking um, and showing that you're able to not get phased and ask a tricky question. You have rather a structured response. Um, and so, for me, it's not about rote learning answers to questions. It's about um, developing the ability to think about questions in a certain way. Um, and you can do that by, yeah, well, with us asking our children these sorts of questions on a daily basis. Um, let, let me just give you some, some other types of examples, right? Other types of questions. This is more on creativity. Um, if you invented a new colour, what would you call it? If you invented a new colour, what would you call it? So here, I mean, anything goes, right? But you have to be um, uh, explain why, you know? So you can say anything, but why? So we had some comments on this one. Um, what one child, what one parent said, my child, I asked my child this and they said, uh, Renault, right? Red and yellow combined, Renault. Okay, fair enough. So, um, so what might look good in a Renault colour would be the follow-up question I would ask as an interviewer, right, to sort of really push that creativity angle. Uh, what about a completely different one? Um, something more on philosophy. Um, is there more future ahead of us or past behind us? Is there more future ahead of us, ahead of humanity, or past behind us? Who knows, right? Um, and again, the answer doesn't matter, but your opinion does, right? People want to people wanna know what you think. And if you're able to have an opinion and articulate it, while also being flexible to change your opinion based on new facts. You know, so in that case, if the interviewer might then say, we're not sure if you know, but you know, humans have existed for about 200,000 years. Okay, does that change your opinion? You know, i.e., do you think we'll live for another 200,000 years? Will it be a lot more? Will it be 20 million years? Why? Or why not? So by asking our children these sorts of questions, Every day, I, I think, we're able to sort of build the types of skills that not only will bear them well in life, but will also kind of help them for that little half an hour window in the interview. Um, not because they're rote learning answers again, but because they're just kind of, they're getting into that groove of that kind of question and that kind of way of thinking and talking and feeling. So that would be my advice to you, actually. So my, my, uh, my parting advice is um, if you're preparing for the 11 plus interview, um, by all means, sort of organise the things that your child has done so that they have examples at the fingertips. Please don't over-rehearse, though. Uh, and also, just ponder this. How great would it be if your child is always interview-ready? Right? If at a drop of a hat, you could put them in an interview room and they would ace it. Just because that's who they are. That's the individual they are. That's the character they are. They can deal with somebody challenging their thinking on the spot. They can deal with kind of having to build rapport and relationship on the fly. Um, they can deal with being asked all sorts of tricky questions that they've never thought of before. They can deal with the ambig 
ambiguity of not having a black and white yes no answer and you can embrace that gray space in between i mean how great would it be if actually all of our children had that kind of skill set just because that's who they are and so to do that of course we as parents i think need to develop these skills on a, on a daily basis right and it need only take five minutes actually by the way right some of the questions i just mentioned to you the discussion that that yields can only, you know, only has to take five or ten minutes car on the way home from school, while preparing dinner, during bedtime, whatever it might be. But in doing so, you build these sorts of skills, and, and, and I hope it shows, but that's, that's what I'm really passionate about. And, um, and that's why I started this company, Good Coach App, precisely to help parents build these softer skills in our, in our kids. Because, uh, hey, while it makes you, uh, helps you prepare for interviews, past interviews, it also, you know, if we all did it, it would make society such a great place as well, wouldn't it? So, uh, appreciate your time. Thanks, thanks for listening. I hope that was helpful. Yeah, my name's Coven, founder of Good Coach App. Um, also created this uh, Facebook group on 11 plus interview preparation. Um, if you go onto Facebook and search private school interview, it should come up. Uh, but the name is um, Prepare for 11 plus interview and build life skills kids need. Uh, so feel free to join us there. We have a, a thousand members and, and climbing so far. And, um, and best of luck for your interview. Um, remember, uh, build, build these skills every day because it really matters and I, I hope you have a great conversation with your child today. Thanks a lot.